Hey folks, I'm Jordana. I'm moderator and add-on team member for the Classic Hardcore Challenge. And I am here to talk to you about a couple important things in regards to protecting your hardcore add-on data. Um, one of the questions we're getting a lot and some of the confusion we're seeing a lot is how to play on multiple computers. So we're going to start with how to back up your hardcore files, which is both for security purposes to, you know, if you have a major crash or you have to reinstall the game, you're going to want backups of those files. So we're going to start there because that leads directly into how you play on a second computer. So to back up your files, I like using this written tutorial at hardhead.io. Um, there have been requests for a more spoken visual style. That's what I'm going to try and give you here. So we're using this information here, how to back up your hardcore files. What you're going to need is this, this video, and some place to put your files. If you're just backing them up, you can put them someplace else on your computer. Not a big problem. If you're going to go to a second computer, you have to put them someplace you can access from the second computer. Now that sounds like common sense, but I've seen some questions, all right? Okay, so for that, you can use like external media, like a flash drive, if you've got one. I don't. Um, you can also use cloud storage. I'm using Google Drive. So, because there's a little bit of weirdness with how the add-on is written, and both of the files we're going to be looking for are named hardcore.lua, but are in fact two different files, and you know that because they're on two different file paths. But they are named the same thing, and that can get confusing. So I'm going to recommend you create two different folders. Here's how we're going to do that. New folder. We're going to call this one H. C account data create it All right now which character am I going to back up you want one for that because that's going to be the same if you're going to be playing multiple characters and I recommend you do because it's just fun switching between alt you're going to want one for each character I'm just going to call it character data because I don't plan ahead and I don't know which one I'm copying Okay, name this after the character, okay? Please, that's going to make it a whole lot easier. We got that. Awesome. What's next? I'm going to have this open because this is the first thing we do. There we go. Okay. It wants you, this is super easy, drop files here, right? So to do that, I have to find the files I want to drop. So I am going to go to File Explorer. This PC is a good starting spot. This is the default install path for WoW. And I'm assuming that's what you're using. If not... Figure out where you installed WoW and go there instead. So, but for me, and for most people, it's going to be like this. Local disk. Program files, the x86 version. World of Warcraft. Cool. So, where is Dane telling us to find the account data file? This information right here. So, you got two options here. Interestingly, Wrath Classic is what is listed under Classic. Okay? So if you're playing that, go there. I mostly play on Era, also known as Classic Classic, Vanilla Classic, a, a lot of things. But that's what most of us are playing. So, we're going to go to Era. We're going to go to WTF. We're going to go to account. Go figure. No, I don't want to rename it. We're going to go. If you have more than one account, 
Pick the one you're playing hardcore on, or the one for the particular character you're backing up today. So, and here, because this is the account data, the account-wide stuff that we need to keep, we are going to saved variables. Now, on hardhead, it says you want hardcore.lua. However, if, like me, you don't have file extensions enabled, it's not going to show up like that. It's going to show up like this, just hardcore. Okay, you mouse over it. You see that it says type Lua source file. That is your clue that this is the right file. This one is important, but not right now. Ignore it. Don't delete it. Don't do anything funny with it. Just ignore it for now. So now that we found that, we're going to say here we are in our Google Drive HC account data folder. We are literally if Jordy could get her mouse to work, just drag and drop. Watch this. You want to see upload complete. Don't navigate away from there until it completes. Ask me how I know. So next, we need our character specific file. Okay. So for this, I want my character data folder here. Here, we're going to go back to World of Warcraft. You're going to pick your expansion. For me, that's Arrow. Again, WTF. Again, with the account and the account name. Now, this is where we're going different because we're picking a character-specific file, not an account-wide file. Let's go to Blood Sail Buccaneers, everyone's favorite. I'm going to back up my little horde warlock. All right. So I'm picking that character. I am going to save variables. I am finding, once again, hardcore.lua. If you have file extensions enabled, it's just going to say hardcore if you don't. We're going to click that little sucker, drag it over here. Again, wait for the uploads to be complete. Cool. Cool. All right. So that covers backing up your data. If you were not planning to play on another computer, you just wanted to back up because you're reinstalling your game or because you're paranoid or whatever, you can stop here until you need those backups, in which case, come back, figure out how we're going to do this. <coughs> so now... If you're going to a second computer, I don't care if that's your laptop, your work PC, your buddy's computer, doesn't matter. Get on that computer, log into WoW, and if it's your first time there, you're going to need to log into your character very briefly. Log in, let, it, let him or her load in, do a little dance, log back out, okay? That's it, just a few seconds, because that's going to create the file path on your second computer. We need that file path to be there in order to install these files. Okay, so we're going to go into our HC account data here and tell it to download. All right, popped up here. What you don't want to do is hit open file because if you don't have a code editor program on your computer, it's just going to go, well, shit, I don't know what to do with that. All right, so what we're going to do is open it in the folder. We're going to copy it. Now, you see, because I've been doing this, I've got these numbers after it, but that's okay. That's all right. If you have those numbers after that, I'm going to show you what to do with it. It's good. This is the account file. So we're going back to your program files, World of Warcraft, Classic Era, WTF, account, the name of the account, and again, 
we're back here on account wide data so we just want to go right into save variables and paste cool so here's the thing game's not going to recognize something called hardcore forward this is the scary bit this is a scary bit but this is why we have backups right take this one delete take this one right click Right click it in the correct spot Rename all you want to do is Delete that and the space Hardcore that's back where you got it Not a problem You will repeat the same process the same way for your character file Let's go for it my drive character data download open the folder copy it see this is where it's coming from that number because I've done this a bunch of times and they're both according to this part called hardcore so here we're gonna copy we're gonna go back to our WoW install program files World of Warcraft Classic era. WTF. Account. The actual name of the account. Now, this is character specific. So we've got to go to the server. To the character. To the saved variables. And paste. See? But again scary bit right click on this delete this is our current one right click on it rename it hmm <laughs> don't do that do this there you go you got it that is how you play on multiple computers and keep all your data Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a blessed right, blessed run, and a great night. Can you tell that it's 2 a.m. when I'm doing this? Have a good one, all.